Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this Saturday we are getting a new modifier or at least we are losing our current modifier and we are going to the clean fight modifier. So if you guys are not aware right now we have the fortification modifier uh, which doubles the side tower's health but uh, this modifier is going to leave on Saturday and I wanted to cover with you guys uh, all the units that I think will be better and all the units that I think will be worse with the uh, fortification modifier gone so we'll go into a breakdown of all of those but just before we do so guys if you guys love the content make sure to like and subscribe and also guys if I'm missing any uh units that you guys think will be better or worse please make sure to tell me down below in the comments so we know what to try out on the day of uh, the modifier switch. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. We have uh, so many different units that are getting uh, better or worse. It's not as uh, meta-defining as the tower swap that we uh, got, what, a week and a half ago. So um, yeah, the, we went from dragon towers to rocket towers. But uh, yeah, during that period we had Quite a few units got, um, getting better, especially all of the melee units and all of the siege units. Um, but here, this time, once we do lose the fortification modifier, I actually think it's going to be even better for all of the siege uh, minis. So uh, what minis do I have in mind? So first of all, obviously, we have um, Sneed is going to be probably much better. Uh, Sneed was already better with the rocket towers, but unfortunately, his effect, uh, his... Uh, Sneed before Greed effect where he gains two gold when a siege damage uh, unit destroys a tower. And uh, it was really rare we were destroying towers. It happened, but it's going to happen much, much more with the clean fight modifiers. So uh, yeah, Sneed is going to become um, so much better. And he's he himself is becoming better because he's a siege meanie. But um, also, all of the other siege meanies will, will become better. So right now, uh, for example, Warsong Raider got so much better with the rocket towers but warsong raider will be even more broken with the uh, rocket uh, with the uh, uh, clean fight modifier because the warsong raider will be able to threaten that left base and if it's not answered quickly uh, she's gonna melt that base so easily right so uh, warsong raider is gonna be much much better but also um, if we pull out all the other siege mini the Gargoyle. The Gargoyle is already much better than it was with the Dragon Towers. Um, but yeah, the Gargoyle will be even better because now the Gargoyle will be able to threaten the left base. Um, I don't think the Multi-Giant will be good, even though it's a Siege Mini. The Multi-Giant uh, needs something more to make it better. But uh, yeah, Earth Elemental might do something. Um, Earth Elemental is not too great um, right now, but... I mean, it will definitely not hurt. It will definitely make it better. All this, those siege minis. And uh, finally, the sappers, guys. The sappers are going to be so, so much better uh, because now they will be able to one-shot that tower. So, um, yeah, sappers are going to be uh, extremely, extremely powerful. And uh, all the kit that comes with the sapper, I'm expecting to see a lot more. So, obviously, um, when we think about sappers, we think about, and I'm pulling out the spells, we think about uh, smoke bomb. Uh, smoke bomb will be better. So, smoke bomb will help actually not only the sappers, but all the siege we need to get to that base uh, faster or that side tower faster. So, I think smoke bomb will be much better. And I think uh, cheat death as well because of that sapper combo will. Uh, be much better um, So yeah guys, I think the siege mini are definitely the biggest winners here But all the stuff that can like threaten the site tower already will be much better So like I think or much better or at least better, right? So if you think about stuff like uh, just the stone of Tor, right? Having a charge from the stone of Tor on a tower that doesn't have fortification is actually very very huge So uh, yeah, expect a lot more towers being taken uh, with uh, the uh, clean fight modifier, but there's so many unique interactions um, That it's hard to get all of them. I think the prowler prowler is already really good because it can because it can dodge that rocket by uh, Dashing under I think this will make it even better uh, With the clean fight because now we'll be able to threaten that left base I think the core hound will be better the core hounds uh, Because you could split them now you don't have 
to meet them uh, at, the, at that right lane, right, across the bridge. So now we could split them completely, right? Because threatening one of the towers is, uh, one of the site towers is extremely huge now that the towers will have um, half of as much health. So um, yeah, I think you could now split them, which is extremely huge. You send a core hound down the uh, left lane and, and another core hound down the right lane with probably eternal bond. And then you have something like, um, you could also play like guard dog if you want to, uh, stuff like that. Uh, will be very good. Also, there's some uh, unbound me, such as like the skeletons, I believe. Um, the skeletons, if you have uh, XU, so if deployed near a tower or meeting stone, deployed uh, with addi two additional skeletons. So this will probably be better. Uh, I don't think the skeletons will be great because they just get destroyed by that by that AOE from the rocket towers. But it will definitely help because now you will have probably like another spawn point where you could play them and get plus two additional skeleton. Obviously you can already play them on that base, uh, but it's just get instantly melted uh, if you don't own that uh, left side turret, right? So um, skeletons will, will be better, but unfortunately all the swarm you still get destroyed by a lot of it. A lot of the things that are um, that are meta right now and uh, the rockets, right? It's the rocket towers. So um, yeah, guys, I think this is pretty much it for the bus. I guess I could talk a little bit about all of the minor minis, right? So now because we will be we will be able to get that left tower more easily, all of the, the minor the, um, minis or all the units that have the minor trail will be uh, better as well because it will be able to actually uh, mine the, or threaten those left gold mines as well as the right one and the middle one. So if you think about stuff like, for example, uh, Harpies with the Trinket Collector's Talent, um, Harpy should be better, even though it get destroyed by Rocket Tower. You have Sneed himself. Sneed himself has the Minus Money Friend talent, which could also be played now that there's a third uh, or fourth gold mine um, available if you get that left tower. Um, I'm expecting something like, well, I mean, I guess I could talk about the, the different decks afterwards, but uh, I'm thinking about something like... Um, like a Sneed with the Sappers to be back because the Sappers will be able, able to take that tower, then Sneed could be able to threaten that gold mine, some stuff like that. Uh, Dark Hard Miner is already good, it will be better. Uh, am I missing any minor minis? I don't think so. Um, yeah, guys, so I think that's it for uh, all the different units I think will be better. Please tell me down below if I'm missing any one of them. Obviously, anything that can like threaten quickly a base will be better because we already now that we will be able to get that side tower. If we do get the side tower, we get some stuff that can just push onto the enemy base as quickly as possible. Uh, well, those stuff are going to be better, right? So try to keep that in mind. So t tell me down below if I'm missing any units that might be better that we should try on the day of the clean fight modifier dropping. So. Um, yeah, guys, and now I talked about the uh, different spells earlier that I think will be better, especially like Cheek Death and um, and the Smoke Bomb. But I think some spells are actually going to be worse. So let's jump into this is now the worst section. So uh, first of all, the first spell that I think will be worse actually is Execute. So why is Execute so good uh, in the um, fortification Meta is because Execute can still do 50% of the uh, tower health or the side tower health. So this Execute is one of the way of taking down those uh, left towers, even though, or those side towers, even though um, they have fortification, right? Because Execute will do half of the health and then it's like a normal health tower, I guess. But Execute uh, in clean fight will do half as much damage as it does in fortification because it still does only 50%, right? So 50%, uh, 50%, 50%, that's 25%. So Execute uh, deals 50% less damage on towers as it did on fortification, right? Um, so I think Execute will, it could still be good. Execute cycle is really good. It's good to deal with other stuff as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, Execute will definitely take a hit here for sure, or at least we should see some other spells that might take Execute's uh, place. So um, yeah, I think Execute will not be as good. Some other stuff might be better. Uh, what are you guys thought on like Blizzard and stuff? I think Blizzard is just solid, and I think Blizzard should be even better, because now Blizzard will be able to chip down that those side towers as well. Um, 
yeah i guess those are pretty much the two i guess chain lightning would do a little bit more damage on that side tower especially when you play your chain lightning on that miner that mines the gold you can also get some damage on the uh, side tower as well so that would help um a little bit so yeah uh i think the spells in general uh are gonna be touched by this new change in the meta but uh yeah what units are gonna be worse here um if we try to think i don't i think it's mostly gonna touch uh those minis that i mentioned that could attack those base uh, easily and uh, i don't think we are gonna get many units that are gonna get much worse with uh the fortification uh modifier being gone i guess all of the things that were very defensive such as like uh like griffin rider and stuff like that might be a little bit uh worse because what was good about griffin rider is that you could play griffin rider is an example of all of those defensive units right but um if you play griffin rider uh you could usually let the enemy just um attack your base and then your base would soak all the damage and your griffin rider would attack um whilst your tower was tanking right so stuff like that will uh will definitely be impacted it won't be um that much different right it won't be like a like like those like if those units were completely unplayable um but still right and then finally guys uh another leader that i think is gonna get heavily impacted by the um uh, clean fight modifier coming back is uh obviously baron river there so guys uh baron river there is gonna get uh fairly worse with this um fortification um, modifier gone because now enemies will be able to threaten that tower so right now uh, we know that skeleton spawns from the side tower and the main base so that's an additional spawn from the skeletons or uh, for the skeletal mages that uh, threaten the the um that threaten the gold mine that threaten the miners it's uh, it's just very very strong but now the opponent will have a way to counter that by like i don't know let's say your opponent gets a uh, um uh, wave of sappers onto that side base well then you simply lose um uh skeletons spawn right so um yeah bear over there will definitely get hit the most out of all of the leaders i suppose um yeah i think that's pretty much it i think we covered pretty much all of them so this won't be a huge meta uh meta shift but it will definitely We'll definitely see some new stuff, right? Uh, execute is everywhere, so we might not see execute as much, and maybe it's going to allow more room for other stuff, which are really, um, which is really good for the meta game. And uh, once again, guys, make sure to tell me down below what am I missing? Is there any d decks that you guys uh, will want to try first? Um, but yeah, guys, so I'm expecting uh, Sneed to be much better. So I want to try like a Sneed Siege list, obviously. Uh, the second we get that clean fight modifier um, and I might want to try some stuff um, I guess Chalga will get worse as well guys um, because Chalga is, is good at nullifying that side tower but now it doesn't matter because you just shred that tower anyway uh, I think Hogger might be better Hogger already does so much damage but now Hogger will be able to like charge on the enemy base or side base and, and uh, maybe take it very easily uh, Maev is probably going to get better um, Maeve is going to get better because um, she's going to be able to take to burst down those side towers very, very easily uh, and then have a presence next to the uh, enemy base. So, um, yeah. Tell me down below which units uh, am I missing? Um, do you guys agree? Tell me what list you guys want to try um, when the um, clean fight modifier releases and uh, yeah guys after this we have two weeks until season three so uh, this is uh, very very exciting uh, it's a great time to be a fan of the game and uh, with that being said I'm gonna leave you guys at here thank you guys for watching as always I'll see you guys in the next one take care and bye guys